morning everyone this is the first section of the elective class and this topic is about polynomials uh, you've actually seen polynomials before in grade nine and we'll talk about that now so what we need to do first is to define a polynomial a polynomial in x we could use any variable actually we could use p u for example sometimes denoted as px is an expression containing only non-negative integer powers of x non-negative means 0 1 2 etc these are non-negative integer powers so for example a polynomial could be y equals 3x and the power here obviously is power 1 okay and for example another one y equals 2x cubed plus 4x minus 5. Notice the power here is 3. The power on x is 1, but we don't normally write power 1. And there is it actually an x here, which is x power 0. And anything to power 0 is normally not written. So x power 0 is usually not written there. Um, the degree of a polynomial is the highest power of x that is in the polynomial and we would have seen these last year so the first one is a constant polynomial examples are y equals 0 y equals 5 y equals minus 5 and the degree of these polynomials is 0 and as i just mentioned for example in the first example y equals 0 actually has an x power 0 here, which is not written. y equals 5 is actually y equals 5x power 0. And as I mentioned, we don't normally write the x power 0 there. Now, these are straight lines. Okay, and another one, the next one, is a linear polynomial. And in this case, you can see the degree of the polynomial is 1. There's a 1 here, x power 1 minus 2x plus 5, x power 1, y equals a half x, the power on x is power 1, which is normally not written. These are linear polynomials. And you may remember from grade 9, quadratic polynomials have power 2 as the maximum power. 2x squared plus 3, 6 minus 5x squared, the highest power is 2, and that's the degree of the polynomial. And this one is minus x squared plus 3x minus 4. And that power is 2. Okay. New, new ones to you are probably the cubic and quartic polynomials, which we'll be doing a lot of. So in this case, cubic meaning 3. So we've got a power 3 here. We have a power 3 as the highest power, even though it's not written first, it's still the highest power. In a quartic polynomial, the highest power is 4, quarter being 4, so it's easy to remember. And in this case, we have an x power 4 here, minus x power 4. And so the degree is the highest power that you see in the polynomial. So 4 here and 3 here. Okay, expressions that contain terms such as 1 on x. If you think of 1 on x... There's an x power 1 here. If you bring up your x power 1 to the top, it becomes x power minus 1. So obviously this is not a polynomial because you have a negative power here, and that's not allowed. In this case, we have x minus 2, so that's not a positive power, and it's not 0, so it's not a polynomial. Root x cannot be a polynomial because root x is the same as saying x to the power a half. And fractional powers are not allowed either. Okay, so root x is not a polynomial. Sine x is a trigonometric function, so that's not a polynomial. This is a log function, and this is an exponential, exponential function. So these are not polynomials, but you will be seeing these in the future, these ones here. So these are examples that are not polynomials. 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 on x. 
So that's not a polynomial because you're going to have end up with an x minus 1 here. Not allowed. This is cube root of x. x to the third power. But that's not allowed because you're not allowed fractional powers. Log function. So this is not a polynomial. Negative 2. Not allowed negative powers. So this is not a polynomial. We can graph them, but they're not polynomials. 2x squared plus 10x. So this is not a polynomial because it's a trigonometric function. So some of the characteristics of polynomials you need to learn. Okay, in this polynomial, px, 6x cubed plus 13x squared minus x plus 1. What is the variable? The variable is the letter that you see in the polynomial. So in this case, it's x. Coefficients. What are the coefficients? Coefficients are the numbers in front of each term. So here we've got x cubed. So the coefficient of x cubed is 6. 13 is the coefficient of x squared. Minus 1 is the coefficient of x. Okay. There are four terms in the polynomial. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the constant term here. So that's the constant term, which is 1. The leading term is 6x cubed because it's the term with the highest power of x. The leading coefficient is 6. This is the coefficient of the leading term. The degree of the polynomial is 3. So this here is a cubic polynomial. So some more definitions here. A monic polynomial is any polynomial with a leading coefficient of 1. So, for example, we've got x cubed plus 3, which is a cubic polynomial, but the leading coefficient is 1. So, this is called a monic polynomial. And this one here, you can see 1x cubed. So, it's a monic, monic meaning mono, 1. So, what's a good idea to also do is write your polynomial in standard form. And to do that, we rearrange the polynomial. So that the terms are in decreasing order of the powers. So in this case, 4x power 4, this is the largest power. So that goes first. And we've got x cubed, 5x cubed, that's the next power. So we write it next. x squared is the next term. So we write that next. And 3, the constant term goes last. Okay, so get used to doing that when we do the questions. That makes it much easier to do calculations with. So a few more definitions. Monomial, monomial, mono meaning one. They have one term. So 4, 2x, minus 5x squared. These are monomials. Binomial, bi being two, like a bicycle has two wheels. So they have two terms. 2x plus 6 x cubed plus 5x. These are all binomials. Trinomials, tri being 3, by 2, mono 1. So they have three terms. 3x squared plus 3x plus 5 is a trinomial, and this is your typical quadratic here. So here's an example. Let's see if we can answer it. For the following polynomial, write this polynomial in standard form. So we'll have px. What is the largest power? 9. So this term goes first. Minus 3x9. What's the next term? Is 5. So plus 2x5. Then we've got or minus 7x4. Remember to take the negative sign, which carries with the 7. The so minus 7x4. Then we've got the next one, which is 4x squared. Then we've got the last term, the constant, which is minus 12. 
notice how there are some terms missing like there's no x power a that's quite acceptable we don't have to have every x power in the uh, expression okay what's the variable the letter that's being used is x and we get that from here as well but the variable is x what's the coefficient of x5 that would be 2 and put a plus 2 there if you want the coefficient of x cubed you notice how there's no x cubed but actually it's 0 x cubed so the coefficient is going to be 0 0 x cubed is 0 so we know that the coefficient must be 0 because it's not in the expression the number of terms 1 2 3 4 5 there are five terms What's the constant term? The constant term has x power 0 on it. So that must be this one here. No x written. So that would be minus 12. What is the leading term? That's the term that's sitting in the front with the highest power of x, so minus 3x9. What's the leading coefficient? Well, that will come from the leading term, which is minus 3. And the degree of the polynomial is the highest power in the polynomial, so that would be 9. So what you should do now is do exercise 1 in the handout, and I'll make a quick video about polynomial division. So I'll see you soon.